Hello current Madawan High School students. This is Greg Mickelson here and today I'm going to demonstrate for you the proper way of scheduling for classes for next year. If you are a current 10th or 11th grader, you've already sat down with your counselor in order to get scheduled and if you have some questions about that, please contact your counselor directly. Uh, current 9th graders haven't had that opportunity yet, so Follow my demonstration and you'll be able to go in and you will have the opportunity to schedule some courses. So without further ado, let us first talk a little bit about making sure that our needs are met during this quarantine. If you are in need of food, uh, we are still providing food at the high school on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 1130 to 1. Stop by and we'll make sure that you get uh, some food for you and your family. So scheduling, um, obviously within this funny quarantine, we're having to do it a little bit differently this year than we have in the past. So we're going to do our best in order to uh, make things work. And I know you'll understand if things aren't exactly working for you, we just need to then contact the counselors or the deans and we'll be happy to uh, work with you in order to get things set. Um, I will provide you that information at the end of this demonstration so you'll know how to contact the counselors uh, in order to get your questions taken care of. So let's get started. So if you take a look at my screen here, this is the PowerSchool screen and this is the student parent sign-in screen. So just give me a quick minute here and I'll get signed in and in doing so, then we'll be able to get started. So this always happens to me at least once. Okay, so this looks should look familiar to everybody. So if you look over at the left at your navigation side of the, um, of the screen, you'll see that there is a tab called Class Registration. What we're going to do is click on that. Once you get to Class Registration, your screen will look very similar to this. So take some time and read through the instructions. They'll give you the same guidance that I'm giving you and I will walk through what all of this means so that you have the opportunity to see it firsthand. So first and foremost, let's go down to the bottom. On the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that there are uh, really four courses, even though it does look like eight that have been selected for you. Those courses are based upon the courses that you were in this year and also teacher recommendations. So you'll see English, you'll see a math, you'll see a science, and you'll see uh, a social studies. And the thing that you need to know about this is that these courses down at the bottom you can't change. If you would like, you're more than welcome to again contact your counselor and they'll help you with that process in terms of getting you changed into the courses that you would like to be in. I'd also like you to have a conversation with your current teacher so that you have the opportunity to find out why a recommendation um, was made for you. Uh, another thing that may be down here might be banned because ninth grade band members were moved into the 10th grade band. And again, if you'd like that to be changed, please contact your counselor. So let's just do a quick count here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight courses that were selected. What we need is 12 courses. 12 courses is equal to six credit hours. So with the eight that were selected already, then we need to make sure that we have four more in my schedule. Everybody's might be a little bit different. Four more in my schedule in order to 
be able to complete this process. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top and basically the cores were at the bottom so now we're looking at selecting some elective courses. If you take a look over here you'll see that there's a green check mark. The green check mark just means that you're able to go into it if you would like. Um, the course headings are over here so because the cores were selected I have to select some elective courses. So I have 10th grade elective courses because my student is in the 10th grade. A second semester of something, please read through that. 10th grade online course, if for some reason I need to take an online course. And then alternates. The alternates are important because there's a red exclamation mark there. And that has to be a green before we can move on. And I'll do that here in just a second. So once I go in, I'm going to select some courses now. So I'm going to click the, the pencil. Now, when I get to this particular point, I'm going to go down and I want to point something out to everyone. There are multiple pages here of courses. So please take some time and read through each one of those in order to uh, see things that you might be interested in. So let me um, just kind of go through a page. I'm going to look through this page for you too, just to give you an idea. You know, there's art. Um, uh, you'll see that there's band. Um, a couple of online courses are listed in here also. So I'm going to select my first ones. I mean, I'm going to choose one that you know, as a as a ninth grader, I had heard that you know biomedical science was you know the thing that um, upperclassmen were talk about. We're talking about it's something that um, I think would be interested. It's in my career path, so I'm going to select biomedical sciences. So I click on this course because this is the one that I want to choose. But I want to point out that there's an A at the end of it. Any course that has an A, you have to also select the B because the A course and the B course go together. A course means it's first semester. B course means it's second semester. So I'm going to click both of those. I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit OK. So that's going to show up in this elective box right here. So I go back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and now I still have two more that I need to select. Well, I think I need to, to select a, a fitness course just because I'm, I want to make sure that I have, I'm, I'm well-rounded and I, I'm going to need to have some activity during the day. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to try to find fitness. So I go through, it's not on this page two, uh, let's try page three. Uh, looks like choir. Uh, let's try four. There's fitness and sports. That's the one that I really am interested in. So I'm going to click on fitness and sports. Go down. I'm going to hit OK. It'll show up in my box. But uh, over here, so fitness and sports is there. Now I've got 11. So because fitness and sports... Um, is just the one semester and I want to take it for two semesters what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to it where it says second semester of again read the screen it will tell you a little bit about that and you'll see that fitness and sports shows up again and by clicking that it'll give me the opportunity to have fitness for the entire uh, school year I'm gonna click OK so now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So those twelve courses are going to equate to six credit hours. Now, remember, if I have a block class or I'm in a course where um, it is two hours, like English, then I'm only going to have to select two of these up here, and I may not have the opportunity to select any, depending upon what my situation might be. So once I get to 12, 
I'm going to come down and I'm going to take a look at this alternate courses. So I have to select alternate courses. It's not an option. It won't let you save anything. It'll kick you back out and it won't give you the opportunity to schedule until you have selected your alternate courses. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select alternate courses. So I know that I have been kind of interested in art. So I see advanced art and I look over here and it says, wow, there's a prerequisite note that I just can't jump right into advanced studio art. It says I need to take art one before I do that. So I'm going to select art one as one of my um, alternate courses in case I'm not able to get into one of the other courses. So I select art one and I also heard that this ceramics and sculpture class was a lot of fun. And again, it says you have to have art one first in order to take this course. So again, a prerequisite. So I'm going to select ceramics and sculpture. I'm going to hit OK. And if you notice, my red exclamation point turned into a green, which means now that I can move on to uh, my next step which is really the last step. So if I go down, I have to make sure that I hit submit. Hit submit. If you don't hit submit, you're not going to be able to save what you have done. And I'll show you what happens when you do that. If you hit submit, a little bar will come up and then it will come to a core, uh, really it will come to a course request thing that looks like this. And you'll see, here are the Eight that I had at the bottom and then the other choices that I had to take and what I requested and then my total um, hours which is six and then I also have my alternate courses as well so let's say tomorrow I change my mind you can come in you can go back to your course catalog and it will give you the opportunity again to be able to do this now it's saved Okay, so now what? I told you that I was going to give you the opportunity to, um, to get the information in terms of how and when and all those types of things. So um, if you are in need of a contact for the counselors, here are your counselors. Uh, you will email them and then they will help you with any of the questions that you have. You can also contact the deans, and they will also be able to help you as well. So the portable portal will be open until April the 30th at 8 p.m. We're not giving you a lot of time. We want to make sure that you're in it, get it done, and then we'll be able to have the opportunity to move on uh, from there. And we will um, close that portal down which will, will eliminate the opportunity to go and change courses, but you still will be able to see them. So thank you very much. I hope this was a brief tutorial in these strange times. I hope that everybody is staying safe, and I'm hoping that uh, this was helpful for you. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Oh, let me slide this down just a little bit, just in case you needed to get that.